Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I am here because I get to do one of my favorite things for, well, my fountain pen inks and as well for YouTube. These are the, my one of my favorite types of videos to film. I did a little bit of an, a little bit, I did an ink swap with Lisa on Instagram and she sent the loveliest note on this paper which I'm going to stick into my ink journal and I'm just absolutely, you know, I'm loving the generosity and the friendliness of this community. And I'm always so happy to do um, ink swaps because we get to try so many different inks, but also with so much ink out there and so many bottles, this is one of the great ways to be able to use all the ink in your collection is by actually swapping it out with other people. So she sent along eight different inks here. I'm going to swatch it in my Galen leather notebook. But what I want to show you is what I've done in this notebook here is that I have added strips of Rhodia, Cosmo, Onion, and Endless Regalia paper in here. And then I'm going to swatch it next to the 52 GSM Tamoy River paper. And this took a while to set up, but I think it's going to look so good once it's all completely filled out and done. And then off camera, I will be also swatching the Wearing Ghoul swatch cards, doing a swatch on Rhodia paper for my filing, as well as swatching for my ring binder, because I do like to organize the color families in this way. I won't be showing all of that on camera. I'll be showing what I do in this notebook. Alongside that, I will be swatching with my Kakimori Brass Nib on my River City Pen Co. nib holder, and then with my Speedball B Nib here, which is on a rodden holder, or a holder with rodden work done on it. I'm actually thinking of selling this. If anyone is interested, message me or email me at shopkarinalovestoplan at gmail.com. And then this beautiful wooden pen and ink stand here is from Fountain Pendulum. It's actually a modular set that is magnetic. So you can either have just the ink stand or just the pen stand, but I love it because one, it's beautiful, and two, it's so functional for my desk. All right, let's get started swatching those inks. The first ink is Birmingham Pen Co. Brown Turkey Fig Twinkle. I don't know what that means, but I do see shimmer down at the bottom. And, oh, I'm so excited. I have been loving purples. You know what? I'm actually, purples and pinks and browns have been a good favorite of mine. Ooh. All right. And then on the Cosmo. You can really see the shimmer on that. Oh, love that already. And then on the onion skin paper. I love the texture of that onion skin paper. I might have to get myself a pad of that. And then the endless regalia. One of the things that I did differently with putting these strips of paper down was to make sure that I only put the glue tape right where the name of the paper is to make sure that I'm not contaminating the sample in any way, if that makes sense. So then here, oops, I don't like the look of that. Here we go. Oh, wow. That looks so messy. <laughs> there we go, that's better. That is pretty. Oh my goodness. I am loving the shimmer in that. And let's get some on my Kakamori Brass Nib here. So this is Birmingham, Birmingham Pen Co. And it's brown turkey fig to winkle. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to have room to do the swirl of the figure eights. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, wow. Oops. 
Oh, I'm really liking that color. And with the shimmer, it's fantastic. A really deep, deep purple with that silver shimmer adds just that bit of interest. So that is Birmingham Pen Co. Brown Turkey Fig Twinkle. The next ink we have is Birmingham Pen Co. Plowman's Pebble. And there is no shimmer in this. Just from the looks of it, it looks like a burgundy brown. Whoops, okay. Ooh. Oh, I love it. So it's like a <laughs> dusty pinky brown. Love it. It's interesting to see already the differences in the papers. Like on the Regalia paper, it looks more like a lighter purple. And I'm wondering if it's also due to how much ink I've put on there. And then, oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. It's beautiful. And I'm excited to see what it's going to be like when I write with it. So this one is Birmingham. Penco Plowman's Pebble. Oh, pretty. It's so pretty. And let's see. Oh my goodness. I really love the way that it looks like that. Now the flow coming off of the nib is actually pretty good. I'm wondering what it would be like in a fine or an extra fine nib. We'll see. But look at the way that it's drying already on those papers. It's like got a bit of a gray undertone and then the pink kind of just rises to the top. That's so, so interesting. So that's Birmingham Pen Co. Plowman's Pebble. The next ink is Birmingham Pen Co. Periwinkle. And ooh, it's another purple. You can already tell. Where's my pen? <laughs> and I'm so excited to see what this, oh, I love that. It looks lighter on the Cosmo paper. And then on the onion skin, wow. I love that so, so much. I never thought, like, I've said this about browns, I've said this about pinks, I never thought I would like purple. But this purple, you're seeing it on the Tamoy River paper, it's got the really, it's chromo shading into that pink and the pink undertones in there. And on the Rhodia paper, it looks darker, whereas on the Cosmo paper, it looks lighter and you've got some shading in there and some of the, the edges and then I'm just looking on the onion skin and looking at their regalia paper. The regalia paper, and I'm wondering, a few of you have already said that maybe I got a bad batch because it looks like it's um, pilling is the only way I can describe it. The paper is pilling, but I love the way that this looks on the onion skin. Now, I don't know if the onion skin paper can handle heavier swatches like this, but I just, I love the paper already and I'm excited to try and use it in the future for letter writing and things like that. So let's go ahead and do the quick writing sample here. I'm already loving the color scheme in this whole page so far. And oh my gosh, it matches. It matches with my nib holder. So this is Perry Winkle. And it's so pretty. Oh. No, hold on. I want it thicker. I want a thicker line. There we go. And then a slightly thinner line. And then there. Oh, I love that. And it really, really does match my nib holder so, so perfectly. So that is Birmingham Penco Periwinkle. The next ink is Birmingham Penco 5 Cent Fuchsia, which looks pink. <laughs> I'm trying to remember I think I did send Lisa a list of things but then I also said I like oh like dusty pinks and purples and browns wow 
I like that. So interesting how already it looks so different on all of them. Oh, that undertone of that pink is so bright. I like it and it looks more red on the Rhodia paper than it does on the other papers. And then doing a quick writing sample here. So another, whoop, that one is very wet. Birmingham Pen Co. Five Scent Fuchsia. Oh, I could have all fit all that on one line. And, whoops. Oh, there it looks really, really pink. That is very pretty. It's a lot more saturated in that swatch versus in the line widths, and it's so much redder on the Rhodia paper, whereas this pink on the Regalia paper looks different than the undertones in the other papers as well. So, so interesting how that's happening with all these. And this is why I love being able to compare all the papers on the one page because you can really see the differences this way. But also, it makes for a chunkier ink journal. <laughs> all right, so that is Birmingham Pen Co. 5 Cent Fuchsia. The next ink we have is Birmingham Pen Co. C. Holly. One of the things that I have noticed about my ink sample collection, as well as my ink bottle collection, is that there is a start, startingly, start, never mind. There's a surprisingly <laughs> low amount of blues. Funny enough, blue was my favorite color growing up. And then high school came around and then I suddenly started liking green. But anyway, I don't have a lot of blue inks and I want to try out more. I really like the blue gray, especially in these tones of colors. It's interesting that it's called Sea Holly because when I think of Holly, I think of Christmas, I think of green. So Birmingham Pen Co. If somebody knows the meaning behind sea holly and why it is this color please let me know and whoops but yeah i really like i want to try more blues because my current collection is really low on blue but i do love this and i love how it is you can see the chromo shading there's just like the tiniest hints of the beige undertones and again really interesting how dark it's turning up on the Rhodia paper but I'm waiting to see uh, see them all dry and see what the overall result is but I really like that especially how it's turning up on the Tamoy River paper it's got hints of beige and pink undertones and that smoky grayish blue I really love so that is Birmingham Pen Co. C. Holly the next ink is Birmingham Pen Co. Abandoned Shipyard. I tried reading that through the camera and I'm like, wait, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm getting older, getting older. I'm doing that thing where I can't, I'm nearsighted and I now can't see small print up close. I have to, I don't know. I think this is the thing with smartphones is that I'm so used to using my two fingers to bring something closer or zoom in yeah i've ruined my eyes doing that this is a pretty green i like colors like this that aren't super bright and but they're still impactful like they still make uh, a statement when it comes to the color i really like that it's very foresty very fall so this is, uh, where am I? Birmingham Pen Co. But one of the things I'm loving about all of these inks is the chromo shading properties. Even if they are subtle, I love the way that they're shading 
and all the different tones underneath, it needs work. All the different tones underneath and how different they can look across papers. I mean, this looks like a brighter green. This looks like it's got a bit more bluish gray. This one doesn't even look like on the Regali paper. It doesn't look like it's got any shading properties. It looks really, really flat. And then on the Rhodia, it looks very dark compared to the rest of them. I really love the way that it looks. It's very, very green on the onion skin paper. I really like that. Gosh, I'm really loving the way that all of these swatches look on the different papers, and I will definitely continue to do this. So that is Birmingham Penco Abandoned Shipyard. Next we have Birmingham Penco Oil Rag, which sounds very glamorous. But one of the things is that I love the names of these inks because, well, okay, who has the job of naming inks? Because that just sounds so fun. But I think I would also, oh my gosh, it's pretty. I would also probably love the job of this because I would do so much research into the history of certain things and why this color would represent that. That is like a lovely greenish brown. Oops. Yeah, on the onion skin paper, it looks like it's leaning more toward green brown. And here it looks lighter, like a light, a lighter green. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you all of these closer up once these have dried. So this is Birmingham. And then Pen Co. Oil rag. I think that definitely with an oil rag, if you're working like in a of mechanics with cars and stuff yeah the oil rag can definitely have different colors especially when mixed with water that is a very cool color and look at how green it looks on the onion skin here i really like the tones of the brown and it's darker on the cosmo and i really think that's possibly due to how much ink is on there but it looks green on the onion skin looks doesn't look like anything else on the regalia paper and then i really like the tone of it on the tamoy river paper so that is birmingham penco oil rag the last ink i have here is birmingham penco antique aubergine so i'm assuming it is purple which i'm excited about oh but i'm okay i'm going to show you the whole page the whole two pages here because it just looks so cool seeing all of these pinks and oh that is beautiful i love it oh, just making sure i'm not putting too much ink on there oh that's so pretty i love it and then on the tamoy river paper i love that more muted purple and i love the name aubergine it's so pretty and it's one of those purples that you're like it's not too out there and I feel like it's a neutral purple antique aubergine it's so pretty I like that it's got gray tones to it but you can still definitely see the purple. Oh, it's a dusty purple. I love it. But already looking at the differences with the Rhodia and the Cosmo and the Onion, the Regalia paper, I, I just don't think I have a good batch, but I'm okay with testing it out anyway, because it seems to just pill and break apart as I put the ink on there. And then the Cosmo, you can see a really nice kind of, oops, light lilac base, and then it gets darker. But, oh, that is such a pretty purple. I love it. So Birmingham Pen Co. Antique Aubergine. So there is the completed page. Oh my gosh, I love how that looks. And I think I'm going to be doing ink swatches like this from now on because it is so cool to see the different effects on all of the papers. So I'm going to bring this up here closer to the camera. Now the first one here is Birmingham Pen Co brown turkey fig twinkle and on camera oh you guys you can really see the shimmer 
in there as well. And I'm finding actually that it doesn't look too different between the different papers on this one. And even the onion skin actually is able to handle it. Flip that. There's a tiny bit of bleed through, but I think it's because of how much ink I put on there. And then actually, I was gonna say, yeah, there's a little bit of bleed through on the regalia. I think basically with the regalia paper, we're kind of thinking that it may not be the best one. It's good for maybe jotting down notes, but for proper ink swatching, probably not the best, or I may have gotten a dud batch. Then we have Birmingham Penco Plowman's Pebble. Look at how different it looks between all of the papers. It looks more purple here. And then on the Cosmo, an onion, even the regalia paper, definitely looks more grayish lilac. And then on the Tamoy River paper, you've got more of like a grayish dusty pink. So is it brown? Is it purple? I have actually no idea. It's one of those that if I do another brown ink exploration or a pink exploration or a, even a purple one, that might go on all three. Then we have Birmingham Penco Periwinkle. Oh my goodness. I love this one and it matched perfectly with my River City Penco nib holder. It definitely is more saturated on the Rhodia paper and you can see more of the shading on the Cosmo and a little bit more on the onion skin paper. And then I feel like it just looks flat on the Regalia. But look at the pooling and the shading on the Tamoy River paper. I love how that looks in all of those pink undertones. Such a pretty purple. Then we have Birmingham Penco Five Cent Fuchsia. This one seemed to just do something <laughs> there and I'm sure that it bled through. But on the Rhodia and even a little bit on the Tamoy River paper, it looks more saturated and red. Whereas on the Cosmo Regalia, it looks pinker, like a different shade of pink. It's so interesting to see it in person versus on camera. And I'm hoping that the camera can pick up all of those uh, differences, but oh my gosh. This is a fun color and I don't, I mean like the writing sample, I really like the writing sample and then even the differences in the line with such an interesting ink. Then on the next page, we have Birmingham Penco C. Holly. It's very dark on the Rhodia paper and then more of a true to its tone on the onion skin and the Cosmo. And then there's actually a little bit of sheen showing up on the Regalia paper, which is interesting, but that sheen isn't showing up anywhere else. And then the chromo shading on the Tamoy River paper. I love that. So it's got like beige undertones and pinks. It's so pretty. Then we have the Birmingham Penco Abandoned Shipyard. I don't know if you can pick up the differences between the papers and how you know, the Cosmo Air like looks more gray blue. This one looks more like a brownish gray green. You can definitely pick up a lot more uh, green in the onion skin paper. And then it even looks different on the Regalia. And then you compare it to the Tamoy River paper where you've got the pink and the beige undertones of that. It's such an interesting ink and it's so cool to see it on all the papers. Then we have Birmingham Penco Oil Rag. Oh my gosh, this looks different on all of them. More of a brown tone on the Rhodia, more gray on the Cosmo, and more gray green on the Regalia, and just green on the onion skin paper. And then it's almost like everything combined on the Tamoy River paper. That is so cool. And then last but not least, we have Birmingham Penco Antique Aubergine. It feels like it's a little, looks more saturated on the Rhodia paper and then definitely lightens up on the other three papers. And then on the Tamoy River paper, you can really see the pink chromo shading properties in that purple ink. Such a fun ink swatching video. I have so much fun doing this. I didn't mean to, but it kind of looks all rainbowy and I love that. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you so much to Lisa for sending all of these because one, I love being able to try new inks, but two, ink swatching is so therapeutic and meditative for me. And these are one of my favorite videos to film. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Please let me know what your favorite is out of all of these. Thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.